so many issues, we thought this second finance bill, Mr. Speaker, will be a finance bill that brings Kenyans together. And today, what the government has done to us, the Economic Council decided to put Kenya again into crossroads to make us fight for nothing. And then after that, then you come and now start saying we shall be having amendments. Yet this is something we would have just thought from the beginning, Mr. Speaker, that we don't need a country to go on to a cry and then now come again and tell them that there is an incentive that now we are giving. Mr. Speaker, when you look at the report, the report comes in, and this is a, an IMF finance bill. This is what they did to Ghana. Mr. Speaker, you remember very well when Kibaki came into government, he was a finance minister, but he decided to be a liberal economist. He decided to look east. It is so sad that while my president thinks he will build any road in this country, that he will deal any infrastructure in this country with IMF on his neck, this will not happen on this term. Not on this term. He will be there to do the deficits of what they are telling him, but in terms of building Kenya, we shall see the worst that we have never seen. Mr. Speaker, the bill then comes in and tells us, you want to restore policy on debt, sustainability, whatever. But then you forget that you are the same person who is saying you need everything on items. Fine, you have said you have reduced it for Mamamboga, I don't know for who, but you are forgetting the same, same person who can do business beyond two million is the same, same person you have just returned into the challenges we are seeing. Try to build an economic base for Kenyans to have this thing we are calling that there is economic growth. Then you come and tell me you have now reduced to the local manufacturers. Who are the deaf kids and the who's and who's? One person monopolizing this country, that he's the only one who can bring clinker, he's the only one who can do cement, he's the only one, yet you want to say, today we cannot bring back Portland, today we cannot do this, it is wrong. We only have one man who does pasta in this country. So when you say now you are increasing because people are exporting in uh, spaghetti, they're importing in spaghetti, we only have one local manufacturer who does pasta, who decides at every given time how he raises his uh, uh, prices. So how do you deal with those people? Tell us the numbers of manufacturers yes. we have order. so that Kenyans can know, order, Mr. Elachi. Speaker. Yes, uh, Nyakundi, what's your point of order? Give him the mic. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm standing on point of uh, order number 91. Is it in order? for the Honorable Member to say that uh, the President is dictated by IMF, uh, IMF on, the, on the finance bill, while the President has the mind of his own. It is this House that dictates the finance bill and the orders that we make. Thank you, Mr. Time. Speaker. If you had the mind, we would have gone to the President after we have finished this. So, Mr. Speaker, what we are saying, we are saying that it is time as Kenyans, we want to take back our power from the World Bank, from IMF, and we are begging, begging so hard that the president must go back and look at the East so that we can finish our roads. You went to the U.S., you told us you are bringing a road that is headed to Mombasa. Order, Elachi. The World Bank does not vote in this house. Ma <laughs> it is you who will vote in this Mr. house. Mr. Speaker. Yes, sir, Indikiri. Understanding Order 91, I expect my senior, somebody I respect very much to bring in point of relevance. Mr. Speaker, we are not debating the performance and activities of the President. We are discussing the matters of finance bill and I expect as such to react. Mr. Speaker, this is where we are losing it because there are some who are praying for the gallery. We better stop this kind of uh, approach to this finance bill.
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Lachi, the World Bank has no vote in this house. It's you who will vote. So remain relevant. Mr. Speaker, while I say and what I say is that when you look at all the policies that has eaten the countries of Ghana, countries of Zambia, these are the same policies. Same policies that they went through when they were handling the IMF. So Mr. Speaker, it's not about voting, but it is about just a 